Hey you guys, I'm Mike Shinoda, and today we are gonna surprise some of my fans. By any chance, do you know what you all have in common? We are all people. You are also all big Linkin Park fans. Oh. Aww. Mm -hmm. And today we've brought you in to react to some of their biggest hits, as well as some fun new music, which we're going to get to a little later. Ooh, I did a video fun. with them years ago where Mike Shinoda made fun of me. It's an I honor. Your life. Wow. <laughs> I insulted Mike Shinoda, and then this, he was like, this kid doesn't know what he's talking about. Really simple drum beat in the background, and I'm like, the guy in the Punisher hat is being really rude. I have a love-hate relationship with him because he simultaneously, like, really, like, Seems like he listens to music passionately and he's like very like invested in music, but also he's so opinionated. <laughs> ah, the oh. classic. Oh, yeah. Classic. It starts with one thing. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I'm designed as trying to explain in due time. I tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it doesn't That style, though. Sorry, sorry to bring it up so soon, but right after Chester passed, uh, Mike Shinoda performed this song at a festival, and the entire audience did Chester's parts. He will eventually be a memory of a time. I tried so hard and got so far. In the end, it doesn't even matter. That was one of the most intense emotional experiences I've ever experienced, you know, through a screen. It's hard not to just want to listen to the music. I know, it's it's just fun to sit and listen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm honestly absorbing the music videos too, because I haven't seen these videos in a minute. Man, I'm just getting goosebumps listening to this. What kind of memories do you get with that one? Transformers. I was thinking Transformers, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. They were already like, super popular and then What I've Done came out and that just put them into like commercial success. Yeah, they, they, that, nev that they never saw before. <laughs> Getting so many memories right now. Wow. But guys, what's it like to look back on this little medley that showcases their journey as a group? It's honestly pretty beautiful. I've hearted all the songs, so it's on my shuffle. But more recently, I picked up Beat Saber on the VR, and their albums are the only songs I've paid for. I also recently got Beat Saber and nice. also recently bought the Linkin Park pack, and I just <laughs> beat a song on hard for the first time, and I was like, beautiful. yes. <laughs> As you all probably know, Mike Shinoda is one of the iconic voices behind the songs of Linkin Park, but he's also become a successful solo artist. So, we're gonna take a look at some of his solo stuff. Yo, this whole last year was show. Just finding out now what I didn't know. Seems like each time when I get low, I place blame everywhere that it shouldn't go. And that's what's keeping me up, falling apart. Hey, he's still bringing it. You still act like I'm holding you up. I still feel like I'm totally nice. His voice is smooth as hell. <laughs> Damn. So tell me what I should have said and not pretend to know that things come out my mouth that I should probably Is that Ian Dior? Why do I expect to have the patience that I don't have? Over and over expecting a different result, yeah. This melody is so catchy. It is very catchy. Mike Shinoda is still killing it. That's his newest song. Wow. Yeah. What did you think? That was That's very good. Really, I really like yeah, it. I love it. Good. What's that one called? Happy Endings. Happy Endings. It's almost Ooh, this one's like really fun visually. Pop. 
fight and can't ignore. I feel it. God, that bass tone is gnarly. Seeing the sweat filling up my eyes. Tell every friend in the me and flesh and blood to send out the battle cry. The last one was the most shocking to me. And not in a bad way. It was the most um like surprising coming from him. I really, it was very different, but it seems like a very natural evolution with sort of the way the music industry is going right now and sort of like, because I remember he said uh, that they try to predict what's going to be popular going forward and like they try to like see how they can implement their own influences on to make something that people would like. He's making songs with collaboration artists like, you know, like, like Ian Dior, you know what I mean? That's totally nail in the head of hitting what's popular and what's going to be popular in the mm -hmm. future. You know what I mean? That's the, the front wave of new music is that kind of mm -hmm. stuff right there. I think that it would be fun for each of you to try to do his iconic voice real quick. <laughs> I feel like Adam wants to start. All right. Okay, the, the one I always go is, one thing, I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. I designed this, you know, is that, is that pretty close? That was pretty, that was, I think you nailed it. I was going to do Fort Minor, oddly enough, but I can't get past two of the lyrics. I know it's like 10% luck, 20% skill. I don't know the rest of it though. The, they didn't get the percentages right on the, on remember the name. Mm. They could have, I mean, cause it's 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrate. Shut the <laughs> you know, but you made it was a fi it's five percent pleasure and fifty percent. How would you know? In a hundred percent reason. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> How embarrassing! My oh dude, my you guys god. were so but, but aren't you oh funny. I went with a Fort Myers she, song? Renee <laughs> said his voice is so smooth. <laughs> you said it that. Is. You said that just now. Wow, and you said, how would you know? Yeah, no, I needed to know. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, that was so, you realize I was, I watched the entire oh, thing no. you guys just did. Oh, wow, this feels like a very long time coming. It's been many years <laughs> after, <laughs> after, wow. It's very, I still have the t-shirt you gave me, by the way. I yeah, still no. love it. I would wear it here, but it reflects and ruins the camera. It's like, <laughs> You were, I did really give Daniel a very hard time when we did that um, the react, other uh, react video um, because he was so like, you were just, you. I was incredibly you, dismissive of it. I was just very, like, forget no. this, forget it all. I didn't even think about what went into it. I like, No, you I, were like, very, you were very confident. You very, you had a point of view and you weren't, it's an opinion. So you weren't wrong. You're just stating your opinion. The entire time you just said so many nice things and you're gonna love watching that back and knowing that I heard you say those things. Uh, well, as soon as he came on, I was like shaking immediately because I was like, oh my God. Renee, you're the one who said um, that it would be an honor to be roasted by Mike Shinoda. Roast and that me, honor go for was, it. <laughs> your, that honor was already bestowed on you because he roasted you about your lyrics. What oh, was that like? Okay. Honestly, <laughs> that was totally nerves because if you play that song for me, I will definitely sing the whole thing with it. <laughs> Isn't it funny how like there's a difference between singing along with a song on the radio where oh, the, yeah, where the vocal is there versus Definitely. like karaoke and no no screen? I, I'm, you know, beside myself, you know what I mean? It's it's meeting meeting your idols, you know what I mean? And, I, and I'm like so stoked because I remember being a, a, a small boy sitting in my room, you know, in first grade listening to your song with my friend and just being introduced to that and then my mom being really into the song and being a musician how you guys have influenced me you know and i'm just like thank you so much for being an artist and 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 making music because you're killing the game my guy like i love it i'm so stoked on it and i'm so stoked to hear what, what new things you come out with we all have a limit in terms of like creativity, but the fact that you can continue to go on is so, so impressive. To me, music is just the experience of listening to that music, you know what I mean? As she was playing the video, I saw the different kind of like uh, eras of your music. Um, and I didn't even realize they were different eras because to me, it's just you and I love all of your music, but happy endings I've never seen. And so it made me very, very happy to know that it's something new that I could experience and it sounded beautiful. My mom was actually the one who introduced me to you guys, and so she's gonna be super jealous <laughs> when she sees it. Yeah, just thank you for making awesome music throughout the years that I can always be like, check out this song to my friends, because you guys always kill it.
I feel like my if if I'm ever feeling down, like if I'm ever feeling um, unsure about making music, I just need to set up one of these zooms, and then I'll just like talk to you guys, and I'll be so hyped. <laughs> Can you talk us through your journey? What does it feel like to be where you are now? Instead of like like building a like a bigger audience on like. TikTok and Instagram last year. I went on Twitch knowing that the numbers are gonna be like small. I make a new thing from scratch every day. Last year, most of the year I was just doing instrumental tracks. This year, starting just like a few months ago, I started producing, I started choosing fans and choosing brand new musicians who have like maybe like a thousand followers or whatever. And producing their songs live on Twitch. So it's my way of giving back to this community that's been so great to me. Like I'm gonna help them get a leg up and get some more followers. And it's embarrassing how complimentary you guys are, how sweet you are, your connection with the music. To be able to be on this side of it and have you guys say like, oh man, I remember exactly where I was when I heard that song. Like there's no better compliment. I wanna say inspiring is the word that I would choose. You know, like I'm ready to go home and make a song. Thank you so much to FB for making this video, making this whole thing possible. Make sure to check out my new song with Ian Dior and Upsol. The song is called Happy Endings. Have a great day, guys.